Paolo will, at this virtual side event, discover the best route to take in migrating to a mobile solution. Uh, you, all of our participants, will be able to discover the new mobile-ready HND Sigilo reader range and how it provides a smarter, more connected access control experience. Mr. Paolo, welcome to the Security Summit 2020. The stage is yours. Please enjoy. All the best. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Welcome to all of you. So, and good afternoon to everyone. I'm in charge, uh, like uh, Aria Sales Manager for Adria right now, but I'm moving to a user manager for Europe. So, from next, uh, from uh, next January. So, a brief agenda. What we would like to do, like HID, on this. Uh, uh, speeches and uh, roundtable that we have is to take a journey with uh, with uh, with you and uh, move uh, through access control and new identification uh, um, solution. And uh, yeah, we are moving from the beginning to the end with uh, on Thursday with uh, my colleague uh, uh, Taylor on uh, localization. So. Um, little agenda, evolution of credential technology. So we will start from the beginning. Uh, senior era, new era that is uh, now on the market. And uh, yeah, a brief uh, entrance on the mobile access. So what meaning, what is the mobile access? So what we are meaning like mobile credential and so on. And um, yeah, and let's see a little practice how to get your site or a site from all the technology to mobile ready, okay? And at the end, we have a little introduction in something that is Origo, the new portal for um, managing mobile credential and not only, but also localization and so on. And at the end, we have a brief uh, question and answer. I will try, don't boring you for one hour because it's a lot of time. So, so let's start. So, uh, let's talk uh, about uh, a little bit uh, regarding the evolution of credential. Uh, what is the credential? Credential is uh, what identify me. So now it's based on uh, uh, cards, badges, but not only. So we started on uh, 1970 with the Max Stripe moving to low frequency card where the, the, the technology has been based on 125 uh, kilohertz technology and single chip and single number. And uh, around 2000, we arrived with uh, high frequency smart card with a memory inside. And 2010, uh, we arrived at uh, encrypted solution. So smart card, also in uh, um, uh, 1356 uh, megahertz, but uh, uh, more secure. And uh, we are today with a new generation. Uh, it's not a new generation because starting to, in 2040, something like that, 14, like something like that, 2015, something like that, with the microprocessor and the mobile device like uh, credentials. So uh, it's a long trip. We have uh, around uh, uh, 30, uh, four, uh, something like a 40 years old uh, trip. And uh, we have already in the field, still on the field, uh, some uh, low frequency card and some max type card. So in order to end the, during our journey, we will uh, uh, we will see also how to move uh, from uh, this kind of low frequency first uh, technology to the new one. Okay, um, close the, the credential, there are the readers. So readers that uh, need to reading what inside the badges and the crypto credentials. So we started like for what uh, we saw before on the first generation with a low frequency. We are not including also Mac Stripe reader because uh, so it's something really old and um, I don't have so much spaces in my, in my PowerPoint to put also um, Mac Stripe reader. By the way, we start with the first generation with only prox readers. And it is HID, uh, Indala, MRN, and so on. 
on second generation, we moved on uh, a smart card with the memory and uh, i-class readers like uh, um like uh, a reader from this side we are talking about only access control reader but uh, there are a lot of reader that uh, are they proposing to address uh, some other application by the way we are talking about access control reader so this kind of reader are single technology readers so reading or low frequency or high frequency. We arrived at the third and fourth generation with the multi-class readers that can read everything. So they can read the low frequency, high frequency, plus NFC, plus Bluetooth. What is coming so? And uh, by the way, they continue go forward because they need, they new did on the, on the organization are to read a card to read a smartphone and uh, this uh, uh, credential on smartphone are uh, delivered by the hair, okay? So it's connected by a cloud. And as we saw before, who participated at uh, uh, Steven Command uh, um, uh, speeches, we have uh, also new buses that is coming, not more the old uh, Vigand, but the new STP, more intelligent uh, bidirectional buses and uh, cryptid and high security buses. So uh, we are addressing uh, some new need from the organization, plus a new need from uh, the users who is using the credential. So, uh, they are asking for superior user experience, so improve uh, read performance uh, across a uh, wide range of credential type. As we saw before on the credential status, we have a lot of different credentials on the field, a lot of technology. And uh, the user is waiting that each technology is working on the same, at the same uh, level. So if I have 10 centimeter, with the one card, it doesn't matter about which kind of credential and which kind of technology inside. They would like for all the card the same the same reading range. So, and also if I'm using a new um, smartphone, okay, that I have in the hand, I would like to have the same reading range for all the type of all this smartphone. It's not easy. Uh, we are asking, uh, the new user is asking also for secure communication, cryptography inside the buses, because it's not important only the security of the credential, but also the security of the bus that transport the data. Um, a new uh, credential security is about a new uh, credential that is coming on the market, but also some feature that uh, are like velocity checking uh, um, in order to protect uh, from uh, force attacks uh, that uh, uh, could be on the field. And of course, go green is something that everyone is asking for. So intelligent power management and the recycling ma uh, materials is only few of the requests that is coming from the user. And uh, a new security and safety need. So need also to address uh, some requests that are touchless experience, especially on this uh, time or biometric new requests. So if we come back uh, a little bit to the old one uh, uh, presentation, that are the best in class at the moment uh, like readers, but they cannot answer to all the requests that we have here. Or better, they can request to all the requests with a lot of options. So need something new. Uh, also, there is a new future proof request that is a new capabilities available through firmware update and to have the flexibility of choice. So, uh, that it is not something only for one country or uh, one continent, but I can find out everywhere. 
this kind of feature. And of course, mobile ready. Everyone is, talk is talking about Apple uh, ACP, uh, support for Apple Wallet, uh, Bluetooth, NFC. So, and now there is a new 4G, uh, 5G and something different. And uh, of course, also simple on file uh, upgrade. Uh, so that meaning that if I put something in front of my door, I don't need to change it when the uh, technology changes, but I can upgrade easily on the field. So in order to answer to all the requests, I need a new a change and have new readers, not a new credential that will come, but new readers that can address all we have now in a one readers and, uh, and uh, have the option to be implemented on the field for something that will come in the future. It's here that uh, HID introducing HID senior readers. So the previous class of readers is the most, uh, is the best uh, class on, uh, on, the, on the market right now. And now there is a new class that uh, We'll take everything uh, we have, all the experience uh, that uh, we address by a C reader in uh, one reader like standard. So meaning uh, that uh, all the option that you can have con with a uh, C reader, you can have a like standard inside the new senior reader family. So there is a new, also a new design that change a little bit respect what uh, we uh, provided for the last 30 years on the on the on the on the on the market and uh, by the way is really really a new a new family with the only two four factor and uh, four different reader we will have also a new bio reader that is coming we will have uh, some option on the future but if they are really future proof readers because uh, we can add uh, some new technology on the field really, really fast. So at the end, what uh, uh, senior bring on the table? Uh, so versatility, that is meaning a uh, flexible, intuitive configuration. And uh, yeah, the idea is to have uh, something that uh, could be used for all the uh, technology at the same time. And uh, maybe when I move from one technology, one old technology to a new one, I can switch off this uh, technology, the older technology and maintain only the new one. And uh, by the way, maybe I can change also the uh, channel, uh, the communication channel between the reader and uh, the controller I don't know, move from, um, from vegan to more secure OSDP, and I can do it without the change the reader on the door. So it's something really, really more flexible and, um, and also need, um, and we need also intuitive configuration and more simple to configure also on the field. So this reader, you can configure this reader by some uh, app, reader named uh, Reader Manager, or directly by OSDP uh, buses where present. Um, Senior have also the uh, marker reference like performance. So it's really powerful. You can read at the same time all the technology, different technology. And uh, uh, reading uh, from uh, uh, low frequency to Bluetooth, uh, uh, Bluetooth uh, um, credential, or also NFC in uh, emulation like my or the Sphere technology that uh, someone is, use, is uh, still using. So it's connected, it's more connected. So meaning that uh, 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 have a, a more channel directly inside uh, the reader that uh, can be um, could be updated and can be configured. Uh, so it's really simple uh, this uh, new family to update on the field uh, thanks uh, to firmware upgrade. 
Um, the unmatched versatility, uh, we talk about uh, different credential that uh, you can read uh, at the same time. So you have, uh, you move from a low frequency MRN in DALA HID prox uh, to last uh, CIOS uh, high secure technology to the Sphere EV1, EV2 and pass through my fair classic and so on. So depending on, uh, it's really easy to, with uh, this kind of family to move uh, and uh, to change uh, the technology and uh, to adapt uh, the solution, the security solution to the, what I have in the field and what I would like to reach like security. Because uh, uh, it's important to know that uh, the security of access control is coming form of the security of the credentials. So I can have uh, the best in, uh, in place like software, like controller, but if I can clone the credential easily, I don't have a secure access control solution. Um, powerful performance, superior uh, user experience. So, uh, the experience uh, on this, the user experience on those readers uh, family is coming from a lot of year of experience with the C uh, readers uh, family. So uh, we fix uh, all uh, uh, the requests that we received from uh, the customer, from the user. And uh, we have uh, some thing like uh, a metal uh, automatic metal detection inside the reader so that uh, the reader can detect uh, the surface where installed but we have also a beacon inside the reader that can wake up um, for example bluetooth app when close to the reader so the reader knows that there is someone that have a mobile credential and is ready to uh, read this kind of mobile credential when presented. So that is meaning that the user can have a really, really, a really nice uh, uh, experience when in front of the reader. Um, security communication, as we told before, reader support, OSDP secure channel communication, V1 and V2. So, and uh, that is really, really good uh, um, from my point of view, the best uh, um, feature that we can offer in one reader. A best in class like uh, security. We, I spoke before that we have some different um, way and some different uh, um, technology inside the reader in order to check uh, the attacks. Uh, and also the crypto key, key are inside a secure, certified secure element. So it's really, really, difficult, it's impossible at the moment to keep outside the reader the secret inside uh, like a key and, uh, and the information regarding the crypto user. Um, intelligent mode, uh, IPM and uh, energy saving and uh, more, uh, um, uh, more uh, recycled uh, uh, materials for build uh, this reader is uh, something that help uh, inside the green uh, green request of uh, many, many building at the moment. And of course, the IP65 is uh, the, re the minimum request for outside uh, installing and that it's inside. Uh, connect to the future, um, choice of flexibility. This reader are deployed at the same time, at the same level, everywhere in the world. Uh, and uh, is uh, uh, under the, all the regulation around the world. Mobile ready, meaning that uh, have inside already Bluetooth antenna, uh, NFC, and uh, feature like Apple and enhanced contact and polling for credential based on Apple wallet. So uh, here we have uh, the best in place uh, from technology point of view. Uh, really simple on field uh, uh, upgrade by a uh, reader manager app controlled directly from uh, the security manager. So the security manager give the rights to the people for maintenance, for installing, can um, 
can upgrade uh, or change uh, the functionality inside the reasons. So, and easy migration. So meaning that is easy to move uh, from uh, one technology to another one, or when uh, I have uh, some uh, new company acquired with a different card technology or different credential technology, I can update the reader to read uh, this kind of new technology and uh, don't change uh, all the badges uh, to the new company. So it's really, really good uh, and, uh, um, and uh, money uh, save uh, uh, research, this one. So we talk a lot uh, regarding uh, Bluetooth and uh, NFC and regarding uh, credential based on mobile. Let's see what the market is telling us based on this. So the market is telling that, yeah, the market research is telling that from 2018, uh, uh, we have something like below 10 million people that have, is something like 3 million people that have credential downloads. So, and now, at 2020, close 2021, where we are uh, around 20 million, so big growth. And I can I can tell you that is more than this. So uh, for this time, uh, so con uh, touchless uh, solution is really important. So this kind of solution and the mobile credential are more and more requested because permit to receive the, the credential directly on the smartphone without uh, touch, anyone touch the badges. So I have uh, a virtual badges directly from the user on my smartphone, from the security manager inside the smartphone, from uh, the visitors um, management uh, software directly to my smartphone. And uh, I'm, there is not uh, a hand be between uh, between uh, the the badge deploy so it's it's a really untouchless solution um on uh, 2021 and 2022 so we in 2020 we are around 90 million people that will use mobile credential i i think that will be more so what, what are the elements based on uh, mobile access? So we spoke uh, regarding uh, download. So there is uh, something that uh, needs to be downloaded for sure. So uh, what are the elements that uh, contribute to mobile access? Uh, so uh, mobile uh, um, access is based on normally, our, our solution, HAD solution, is based on in, uh, a cloud service that uh, provide a trusted virtual credential for authentication to physical access and extended application in workplaces. I'm reading what inside uh, the PowerPoint because it's exactly what uh, I'm, what uh, we intend like uh, mobile access. So it's uh, something on the cloud, is a service that uh, send a mobile credential, trusted, so secure mobile credential that coming from a, a trusted site and by, by a trusted channel. So this mobile credential, when the cloud built this mobile credential is secure and is sending by secure way inside the mobile secure element. So the mobile phone or mobile device secure element. And this is something only for this device. So it's something really, really secure. It's the most secure credential that you can have on the, on the market. The components are four, really simple. A uh, portal that is a cloud that uh, where we can deploy the credential and, and uh, the user or uh, the system integrator can um, deploy and manage the credentials. So, what what the meaning for for uh, for deploy credential? Meaning that uh, if I would like to deploy 
uh, to build a credential that is the number 100, okay, with this portal, I give all the information to deploy number 100. So it's a really simple. It's like if I fabric, I built a card, a plastic card with inside a chip, but it's something virtual, really, really simple. And we have a mobile app that communicate between the portal in order to receive this mobile, the, the mobile credential. Uh, Mr. Paolo, we can't hear you anymore. The reader can read something that coming from Bluetooth transmission or NFC transmission. Okay. Let's go inside. So HID mobile access portal is something that at the moment looks like that. Okay, something in the cloud that is uh, the main page where I can see some information stuff report regarding how many people are using the device. Uh, uh, how many I deployed, uh, what is, uh, what uh, are the credentials that I can uh, manage, and so on. And uh, yeah, the important thing is that uh, this is something standalone that I can check uh, like administration from, from uh, my iPad, from my smartphone, from my PC, but normally it's not so much usage because uh, the access control solutions are connected directly by API to this kind of portal. So it's something that uh, I'm showing you because a part of uh, the uh, mobile environment, but it's something that not so much users because it's something that is connected to the access control structure. So, and uh, yeah, each, the important thing is that each mobile portal have a senior the mob key. The mob key is something that really simply is differentiated that the different end user and different portal. So it's something that is differentiated one end user from another. It's like a digital signature of my credentials. So when I send a credential from my portal, have my digital signature. So it's really relevant from secure, uh, security point of view. The second part is uh, the app, the app that you can download directly from Google Play or Apple Store. And uh, is something that is working fine from iOS 7 and Android 4.4 in every devices that are using this uh, operative system. So those are operative systems. So no problem from a device, uh, which kind of device. It could be an Apple Watch, could be a Samsung Android Watch, could be a iPad, could be everything. Okay, so need only a 4G or a Wi-Fi connection with the portal in order to receive uh, the mobile credential. And mobile ID. I can have uh, uh, many mobile IDs inside the mobile, my mobile phone because I ha can have a lot of different applications signed by the mobile key that sent this uh, um, this credential. You can have a picture inside the credential, you can have a logo, you can have everything. It's like if I have a normal plastic card. Uh, this uh, mobile ID, my number, cannot be copied or transferred. Okay, so if I change the SIM, I need a new mobile. Uh, I, I, I cannot transfer it by SIM my uh, mobile ID because it is inside the secure element of the mobile phone. So rest on the mobile phone. I can revoke and I can send a new mobile ID. It's a really, really secure and trusted the technology. Mobile ID. And so uh, there is also that uh, can I have the, the same format in use on uh, the access control. So it's something more technical. Uh, by the way, what I can tell you that uh, uh, 
no need to change the access control in place to use a mobile mobile credential. Need only maybe maybe sometime to change the reader or update the reader. But uh, no need to change everything is the infrastructure around the reader. So uh, and mobile reader, of course, is the last of the four pieces. So mobile reader mm -hmm. is something that is able to read all the technology plus NFC and Bluetooth. So um, you can work in tap for close range. So meaning that mm -hmm. I present my, my mobile phone in front of the reader or twist and go for a uh, long uh, range. Okay. Um, uh, Sasha, your microphone is on. Could you please just mute it? Okay, thank you. So um, what inside that uh, this, uh, this uh, communication channel, NFC and uh, Bluetooth are standard inside that the new senior reader is not an option. So let's see the trip for mobile access, four easy steps. First, uh, open a user portal, um, Origo portal. In order to open this, there is a, you can do it directly by link uh, on, uh, on, uh, on uh, internet and you can open your own portal. So it's for free. Uh, what is changing is uh, when I put inside uh, the user of uh, this, uh, this uh, portal. Okay. And uh, send the mobile ID, preferred by her, okay, by 4G, 5G, communication or Wi-Fi, okay. And preferred directly on the mobile device. Here uh, we can see a uh, mobile phone, but could be a uh, Apple Watch, could be Android Watch. Could be a, a tablet, could be everything. Okay, could be also a new, I saw some new wristband like a sports wristband that they are able to receive this mobile credential and the reader and the asset control solution. So it's really simple. Okay, to pay to model of operation, tap, close the door. And twist and go. With a twist and go, you can reach something like uh, from 9 meter to 12 meter with uh, some power cooler solutions. So, with uh, the device that you have in the hand, you can move from 9 meter to 12 meter. So, with uh, this uh, twist and go, you can uh, you are able to open door or to open gate uh, from distance. So, it's, uh, in, it's really secure mode and secure way. You have also some widget, okay? Uh, touch that you can have directly on your smartwatch or directly on your mobile phone. Okay. And of course, some Android Wear and Apple Watch that uh, it's, is something really cool to use. Okay, some benefits from uh, mobile access. So as uh, you can see, the benefits are really, really um, important for the user convenience because uh, I can uh, deliver a uh, credential by the hair efficiently for what before. So if uh, I'm outside the door and I don't have my badges, in few seconds I can receive the, my badges when uh, uh, the the new the um, security manager or the guard recognize you and open the door and security is the most secure solution at the moment on uh, the market so from cloud point of view from credential point of view from security channel point of view and there is not something uh, that uh, I'm telling you is something well documented uh, inside a website and inside our website you can find out the link in order to have all this information regarding security of the cloud and the credentials okay uh, convenience so um, as I told you no need to carry um, uh, badges but also there is something before 
that is uh, the deploy of a plastic credential that sometimes take some uh, some days so when i order it uh, the 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 fabric uh, built it uh, and uh, sent back so normally will take some uh, some days or some weeks so and uh, yeah uh, the distribution over the hair uh, it's really efficient so in few seconds i can receive uh, i can receive uh, the, my credential i can track who received the credential uh, who's waiting uh, who and uh, what's happened and security yeah it's based on CIOs technology so the best in class at the moment for physical access but not only for all what is a what about uh, uh, identification so and because the CIOs is based on something software it's really simple to address uh, some uh, vulnerabilities and uh, and uh, find uh, the right uh, the right solution okay um yeah we have uh, something that is at the moment the state of the art of uh, cloud hosting is scalable so we can have different administration for a single a single portal we can have uh, a different credential inside a single portal you think that if you are a user and you have some different sites with a different format for credential inside your portal you can have a different uh, different type of credential based on the format that you have on remote site and send it to the user that needed to enter on the different site so it's simple and a really, really convenient way. Instead of to have a four card on the pockets, you have only four, four virtual cards inside your smartphone. And you no need to select because the reader is able to take only what he needs. So nothing uh, outside what he needs thanks to the mob key. Um, simple integration by API for the, portal and, uh, for the portal and SDK for the app. So what I show you is uh, something standard, is uh, the standard mobile app from HID. But uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, end user, big organization that have uh, their own app for manage uh, buildings. And uh, yeah, the, you can put uh, by SDK this uh, feature inside uh, the own app uh, that is managing the building. So you think uh, some app that you can manage uh, the booking of the room, uh, conference, uh, you can uh, pay for vending machine. So you can do everything uh, at the same time uh, with uh, different credential based on uh, HD mobile broker. And there are some new features that is a photo ID, so you can have on your on your uh, on your mobile credential also the picture and not only the logo and so on. And uh, yeah, and uh, the security manager can um, enforce the security directly from the portal. I don't know. Uh, normally, you can have uh, that you can open the door without unlocking your, uh, your, uh, your mobile phone or only lock the mobile phone without uh, the edges on uh, foreground on, on first uh, in front of you. But you can also, uh, the, um, the security manager can also enforce this policy and tell from some, uh, some day or from some hour that uh, you need uh, for entering to unlock the mobile phone or to unlock your device or to have uh, the badges in foreground. So that is uh, uh, what uh, is delivering based on uh, the experience of uh, our customers and our, our partners. Okay, so. We, we saw uh, a lot of things right now, so something uh, really, really, uh, for some, some, some of you, really new, uh, but so that is normal. And uh, now 
policy how to migrate from a old technology or to use a new mobile solution. Um, so what are, what are the best practices that uh, we put in place normally with our partners? So a site survey and complete inventory of existing technology. The first step, continue to support a few of the legacy technology as possible. So meaning that uh, what, what is difficult to, to change are not the reader on the wall because they stay on the wall, but is to change the card in the end of the, the employee or the user. So meaning that uh, normally legacy technology will rest on the land. So the old badges will rest on the first phase uh, in the end of uh, the user. Um, choose a new solution for access for mobile access and uh, start is small with uh, a small uh, POC that uh, will involve a small site, a small quantity of people. And uh, if everything is fixed, okay, for one building that needed to be repeat and go forward on this way. So. And uh, of course, need to build uh, something like uh, a right business case with uh, uh, also some budget budget to do this. So it's not uh, out to a grade. So uh, sorry, need to to move uh, my window because it is uh, is something that uh, I the, the rest of my presentation. By the way, establish a standard upgrade the reader, replace credentials. So, and let's see what meaning. Uh, we can move uh, through some uh, multi-technology credentials. So that is uh, something that we can do, but uh, sometimes uh, it costs a lot because uh, multi-technology credential is something uh, uh, that can accelerate the transition and uh, by the way, it's not, uh, it's not uh, here you can see a card with inside of quite uh, all the technology, but have a really high cost. If uh, we can invest on that, uh, that could be the right, uh, the right way, but we can also stay at the option one, single technology card. I don't know, here you can see uh, something in the scheme that could be a low frequency readers. Okay, with a low frequency user card. I have uh, some other, okay. And for the third site, I will change the reader. I will put uh, something new. Here is a new SC, but could be a new senior. I don't have uh, the, the picture of the new senior, but could be a new senior. And uh, with an FC, LF, uh, low frequency and uh, Bluetooth, because uh, inside the new reader, you have uh, all the technologies. So, the old uh, card holder can enter also on this side because I can read the low frequency. And I have uh, all uh, the people in this, uh, in this building with all technology. So I change all the reader on uh, all uh, the, the, the sites. And after that, I can change all the credentials. So step by step, based on the budget that I have uh, time by time. And uh, uh, when everything is finished, so the deploy, I can switch off the low frequency and move to something more secure that should be new uh, high, high frequency technology with a microprocessor like CIOS. Uh, Multi-technology card is quite the same. So by multi-technology card, I will start to change reader and card on the new site. And so that this blue card holder can enter inside the old reader and this red card holder can enter in the new reader. And after that, I will change the reader. And after I will start to change all the credentials. And when finish, I switch off the low frequency or the technology more uh, unsecure. Okay, so here we are 
quite bad. Yeah, and that was the presentation. So it's a long time. Huh? Um, let's talk about the Origo platform. What is Origo? We talk about something on cloud. So when we talk about cloud, there is someone that means cloud. It's something free, some information. Uh, there is uh, something that needs uh, perfect uh, GDPR penetration test and so on. So here, Origo is uh, something uh, the trusted place uh, on the market where to put uh, uh, information. So and uh, is based on uh, API first approach. So it's not something that has uh, been built for working and alone. But it's something that is built for working uh, like a service. In fact, it is only uh, the place where we are building the mobile credentials. No more. It's like if you have a plastic uh, fabric where they embed the, the, the chip inside the plastic. Here is a building on only mobile credentials. So, is something pretty simple from this point of view. And it's for that that is, uh, is, uh, is a service because uh, you are not able to manage access control by this, uh, this uh, service. It's only for delivery and manage uh, the credential, no more. Um, I will jump a little bit over. Uh, because too much technical something. So HID Origo is not only for mobile access, mobile identity, but uh, it's also for location service and connected architecture. What meaning connected architecture? If I would like to have access control on cloud and some of our partner maybe have some solution on cloud, we can uh, give a part of Origo in order to built a day on access control on cloud. So it's open to 30 party because uh, is API and SDK first uh, based uh, uh, solution. It Origo is responding to all uh, the uh, requests by GDPR and also it's uh, normally under penetration test. Uh, uh, that uh, is uh, we doing uh, normally each uh, uh, based on uh, team based uh, so and we provide uh, this information to our partners and then you that, that is using that so it's a really secure place where to put uh, uh, information okay really simple uh, we have a rigo platform uh, there is a, a HID Origo management uh, portal that is on the end of the credential admin that uh, and produce the mobile ID sending to the device and the device presented on front of the reader in, by NFC or Bluetooth. The first way that uh, that uh, the reader can see able to transmit something uh, will be what uh, uh, where the transmission will be for uh, for uh, for the credential but we have also physical access control here but the important thing is that we have api so when we produce a new uh, mobile credential virtual credential uh, in, um, the same uh, time I have uh, this information inside uh, the physical access control and I can give uh, to this credential all the right uh, for access uh, to my my doors so is something uh, and all uh, the most important access control or software provider have uh, this kind of uh, connection and uh, the second thing that we have uh, we can provide uh, it uh, the SDK app the SDK app, uh, it's really important in order to customize and tailorize your app. So as I saw, you saw before, normally we have a mobile access, HID mobile access app, but we are pushing our partner to use a day on app. It's really simple to embed that, that this solution inside a building management app that, that they are using. And we have some partner that, for example, is providing this like service to them and user. 
Okay, so that is the architecture with the Origo platform. And uh, yeah, uh, what I can tell you here is um, something based on a request and is, uh, is a normally question that we receive. Uh, so, and uh, it's... Sorry, uh, just a brief note on your side that we are approaching the end of this presentation. We have yeah. 15 more minutes. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. But uh, okay. we have a finish at, at, I think, in five minutes, something like that. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, the idea around the Origo is uh, to build, we have now a bigger ecosystem that is not providing only access control, uh, mobile ID or mobile credential but are providing also credentials for all the applications we use inside the building that should be vending, that should be logical access application, it should be everything that need your consecutive credential. Also for from different from different um, uh, part of the, 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 the corporations of meaning that for example you have uh, the mobile, your mobile credential for access control uh, and time attendance that is coming from the chart. But uh, you have also credential that is coming from uh, the logistic in order to um, have the access uh, to your, uh, your, uh, your car or something that we are using normally for driving and to go around uh, inside, uh, inside uh, your, uh, your building. Okay, HD uh, um, mobile access is a totally uh, technology agnostic and uh, not uh, a problem regarding the platform. So you can move it to Android uh, to people and uh, mix and match of uh, these uh, devices on the field uh, inside uh, the same environment without any problem. It's uh, totally independent from the technology. So uh, now we are talking about Bluetooth and NFC, but uh, mobile band is coming, so a lot of new technology is coming. So, and uh, that is help us to be and our part be more flexible, and uh, and uh, you can use uh, the reader for a long time uh, close outside of the door. And uh, yeah, open channel. It is something non proprietary that we have, uh, so you can buy, uh, you can uh, um, find uh, uh, this, uh, these uh, products uh, everywhere uh, at the same level in uh, worldwide, so that is not a big issue. So, some glossary, but that is something that I can provide you. So, is something that you can. Uh, retain with you when uh, talking about the mobile mobile uh, solution and okay that is the last one questions thank you paulo for this insightful presentation on your side uh, you were really busy and hard working for this past hour uh, at the moment i have collected two questions so yeah. they are pretty generic ones so it will be easy for you to answer and you can elaborate even further because we have 10 more minutes on your side uh, the first one is in regard to sign reader uh, someone asks which is the best practice that you would single out for this particular product sorry could you repeat which best practice of sign reader would you single out emphasize best practice uh, what what meaning so that it's uh, I don't understand what meaning are really really well so the question stays like this which best practice of sign or reader would you yep. single out uh, so you can use everywhere so it's for every technology so it's the state of the heart of the technology at the moment so there are not some best practices. So you can use a where, for example, you need uh, to be beep. So you present the card and the reader needs to, to beep or to some, some uh, in some places where you have a really high, high level of security at the same time. 
is not a big issue because you can customize and tailorize uh, this reader around the environment where you are using this reader. So you can take a standard reader and that is the idea to provide to the market to a standard reader with everything inside. And based on what are your, your needs, you can tailorize uh, this reader to read only uh, secure technology to SEOs. So for example, you can close only around SEOs or you can read many technology at the same time. I don't know, I can give you an idea. So for example, you can have a building with inside the 10 different, uh, different company with a different uh, mobile credentials. So you can have uh, on the lobby, uh, some third style with uh, this reader on, on, on top. And of, of course you need to read all the credential at the lobby because everyone need to go at the at them floor. But outside each single floor or each single company, you have only the technology that can enter inside. So it is a different level of security, that is for sure. But that is flexible. So when uh, on the future something changes, you can uh, adapt the reader uh, locally on field uh, by OSDP buses, or if you don't have uh, the new OSDP buses uh, by reader manager directly on site without any problem. Understood, understood. Thank you for the details. Yeah. Uh, the second question is similar in nature. It says, what single benefit of Origo would you emphasize? So, uh, for Origo, I can, I can tell that uh, all our partners love the flexibility. So, it's simple and flexible. So, um, uh, my idea has been to receive many questions from the security point of view. But uh, it must be uh, something really flexible that is working every time, 24 hours and seven days per week. So that is something that helps uh, the organization to provide uh, in short time uh, um, mobile credentials, credentials for entering not only to uh, uh, employee, but also to visitors if you think uh, when uh, you receive a visit, you can receive your mobile credential directly on your smartphone or on your mobile devices. And when the, 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 the visit is finished, that uh, the, the system takes back this mobile credential. Okay, so it's really flexible. Flexible, fast, and variable. So that is uh, what I can tell. Understood. Thank you very much. Uh, You're welcome. I would like just to briefly remind our visitors to visit you at your virtual booth stand, uh, to actually join and uh, schedule online B2B meetings to yeah. uh, find out another interested and useful information for them. Uh, I would also like to pinpoint that you are a platinum sponsor of this event. So it speaks a lot about your engagement and your authority in this field, in this industry. Uh, nevertheless, please greet for the very end all the visitors uh, on behalf of our Security Summit team. Thank you once again. Thank you to all. Thank you. Thank you. Great. All the best. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Ciao.